Well, well, well. Why am I whistling the Shole theme song? Because today is a milestone day. I am celebrating a thousand videos on my YouTube channel, and I am also celebrating a book review of a milestone film in Bollywood and in the pantheon of Indian cinema, which is Shole: The Making of a Classic by veteran journalist. you know anupama chopra what a brilliant book and i thought what better way to celebrate thousand public videos on my youtube channel by showcasing a book in my book review section about a film which is as iconic as daily indian life itself conversations dialogues songs characters the movie story everything is a legend and every aspect of the film is a legend and what is incredible about this movie shole which was released in 1975 15th august after 49 years almost 50 years the film still touches a chord the dialogues and the songs and the characters are still as famous and uh, it's still a legend and it has cut across generations there are some absolutely amazing amazing details about this film in this book by anupama chopra written like a film itself so what she has done is essentially she has captured every chapter in the form of a dialogue from the film itself so it opens with kitne aadmi the <laughs> then it moves to shayad khatron se khelne ka shauk hai mujhe and it keeps on going that way and ye haath nahi khasi ka phanda hai is where it kind of ends with so so what she has done is she has taken every dialogue and she has converted that into a chapter and then she has described what happened in the film making process what really happened what a legendary film made by a legendary director ramesh sippy directed by gpcp there are various management lessons that you can pick up from reading this book it's first of all it's extremely entertaining uh, i am a slow reader but i i finished this book in pretty quick time and it was fascinating to read um, and some books are like you feel like why it is coming to an end and and this book shole the making of a classic by anupama chopra is one such book you feel why it is coming to an end and there are some absolutely fascinating stories around this film which i think started with something like a 1 crore budget but ended up with such with something like a 3 crore budget in those days 1975 early 70s or talking about 1 crore 3 crores is mind blowing figures and it is one of its kind western style movie made for the indian audiences so you can just look at how difficult it must have been to make this film it took over 2 years and over 400 shifts for the film to finally happen and the major setting of the film is in ramnagaram which is a little outside of bangalore and it's it it has acquired a cult status in itself ramnagaram as a place has acquired a cult status in itself as the entire set of shole was put up there hundreds of people involved great stars a multi starer uh, so a great management lesson because it required a tremendous eye for detail it had it, it has everything it has everything that you advise an organization to have a vision to have a mission to have a purpose to have some value systems around it the eye for detail the passion with which you do your work everything can be felt absorbed and almost seen when you read this book uh, 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 the making of a classic because uh, ramesh sippy and gp sippy they both had a vision to create a mega blockbuster of a film and and they did everything that it took financially physically emotionally mentally whatever it took to make this film and it's fascinating that today we rattle off dialogues written by salim javed uh, as if it is second nature to us kitne aadmi the jo dar gaya samjho mar gaya ye haath mujhe de de thakur so तेरा नाम क्या है बसंती दीज आर ऑल आइकॉनिक 
uh, lines, iconic dialogues. We all, uh, people of my generation have grown up with, uh, but even people from this generation find this film so fascinating. The dialogue so fascinating. The storyline so fascinating. And it's 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 a very gory film in the sense that it's it's got tremendous amount of violence, but you will hardly see the gore anywhere on screen. That's one of the beauties of the way this film has been shot. You will not see too much of blood splashing around here and there. Uh, there are some, there are some absolutely violent scenes. There are so many bullets being fired. Uh, there is the, the, there is this train sequence where the decoys are attacking the train. They are very complex scenes. And one of the great other management lessons from this film is how do you deal with complexity? How do you conceptualize complexity and how do you execute that complexity and there are many fascinating stories about what happened during the shooting uh, uh, how certain stars wanted to play the other person's role because the characterization is so amazing so for example uh, Dharmendra wanted to play Thakur Amitabh wanted to play Gabbar uh, and uh, 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 Samba, who is a very limited role in the film, became an iconic figure. Pure Pachas Hazar, Areo Samba. So, Viju Khote, who played Kalia, became an iconic figure. So, a lot of these people, they carried that character of Shole with them through their life. What a contribution one film can make and how it can change your life. So sometimes one great event in your life, sometimes one great milestone can actually change your life. And Shole changed many lives, not just of the creators of the film, the everybody and anybody who was associated with the film, their lives changed. And it's quite, quite incredible that they are all iconic characters even today. We know a lot of these people, not through their real names, but through their screen names, which was given to them in Shole. Ham uh, Angres ke zamani ke jailer hain. So Asrani made a big name for himself through this one sentence and that one scene uh, in Shole. Now, what is incredible is the difficulties that the creators encountered throughout this whole process. And, and they were able to overcome those difficulties through sheer persistence and sheer determination. It is not just one more film which was just made for the sake of making a film. It was made with a lot of vision, with a lot of passion, with a tremendous amount of dedication. And Shole is counted amongst one of the most technically brilliant films ever shot in the history of Hindi cinema, which is quite fascinating. And what I found very fascinating was this one scene where which involves uh, Jaya Baduri and Amitabh Bachchan, uh, where she is in the veranda. Uh, uh, the, uh, it's called the lady and the lamp scene. Uh, and that scene is hardly there for a minute or two in the film, but it took 20 days to shoot that sequence because Ramesh Sippi wanted a particular ambience uh, to shoot that film and he didn't get it uh, till about 20 days and he was not satisfied each time. So it went into many retakes and finally that little sequence was shot. Now who would notice any error or any kind of deficiency in that, in that short kind of a scene? But that's what excellence is all about. Uh, and it's not just, uh, not just Ramesh Sippi. I think all the cast, the crew, they got so involved with the film, the, film, the book details, all these aspects, how they got seriously involved with the film. They shuffled dates of their other uh, commitments. The stars had to shuffle dates of their other commitments to uh, to try and be there for the Shole shooting. And it went through many glitches, many problems. But in the end, uh, it even went through a censorship is issue as it was about to release. And they had to change the end. Uh, the ending of the film and so many other things have happened in the process of making Shole and Anupama Chopra so beautifully uh, she has captured. As you read this book, you can actually feel you are there in Ramanagaram. Uh, you can actually feel uh, you are part of the direction of Ramesh Sippi. Uh, you are actually there with the cast and the crew uh, and yet somewhere you can feel that you are a part of Shole and Shole is so much an intrinsic uh, part of us. It's a classic film. It's a milestone film. This book itself, I would say, is a classic book. It's a milestone book. Uh, it, it is a must read 
for the kind of details this book provides uh, and the fascinating stories that are, have been provided in the book in the making of this greatest ever story told. That is how uh, Shole was marketed, the greatest ever story told. Uh, so there are many stories within this larger story and what a masterpiece created by Salim Javed. Initially, it was just a four line kind of a synopsis uh, that they had in mind, which they shared with Ramesh Sippy, and that got blown out into a three hour plus kind of a film uh, with songs, dances, dialogues, characterizations. One of the great takeaways from this film is every character, however short their duration in the film might be, uh, that character is is a lifelong memory for the audiences and for the people who have played that character, be it the jailer, uh, uh, be it the uh, uh, the spy within the jail, be it Jai Viru, Amitabh Bachchan and Dharmendra. And what is amazing about this film is it's the villain, Amjad Khan, who in many ways is the hero of this film. And Danny was the original choice for the role. He had date commitments. He could not take up Shole. It finally landed in Amjad Khan's lap. And, and the book describes how Amjad Khan himself went through a kind of a turmoil while shooting for this film because he was new. He was inexperienced. It was his big moment in life. Uh, there were questions raised about his skills, his voice. Uh, uh, but he survived through this entire journey. And in the end, what emerged was the Gabbar Singh legend which we all savor even today. And there are so many legends around the Gabbar Singh in various spaces in life. Um, and, and, and of course, uh, the story revolves around the Thakur played by Sanjeev Kumar uh, and uh, the fact that he wants to take a revenge uh, uh, of Gabbar for having uh, uh, killed his family members. So the performances by Sanjeev Kumar, by Amjad Khan, by Dharmendra, Hema Malni, Jaya Badri, in that, and Jaya Badri's role is very fascinating because of uh, the limited screen time she has, hardly any dialogues, but purely through expression. And Amitabh Bachchan's character, uh, seen as an introverted, mischievous kind of a character, uh, and he delivers some of the iconic dialogues uh, in the film. Uh, and of course, Dharmendra with the uh, uh, with the the tank suicide scene. Uh, each one of them just excelled themselves uh, and 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 they all had a the time of their life. And I think each one of them, uh, their characters is crafted in gold uh, and, and, and probably in their lifetime. Uh, this would be the biggest moment and this would be the biggest film in their life. So please do Order this book. Uh, the link is given in the description. Shole, the making of a classic by Anupama Chopra. Uh, you can relive the Shole magic by reading this book and you can relive each of these scenes. And I think once you read this book, it might also be a good idea. Actually, go back and watch the film. Uh, Indians are used to watching Shole something like 50 times, 60 times. So you might want to go back and watch the film and say, yeah, I read about this scene in this book and see how it has been shot. It's in one of the most incredible films ever to have been made. It's a gold standard for filmmaking. Uh, and what is amazing is initially it was declared a flop. It struggled for the first few days. Audiences were stunned. They were not reacting in the initial days because they just could not fathom what a film has been made. Then the word of mouth publicity made this film, made this film a legend. Shole is a legend. Uh, and there is a bit of Shole uh, in each one of us. I hope you enjoyed this edition of my book review on Shole, the making of a classic by Anupama Chopra. Do order your copy and do post your comments by sharing how you found this book review. And I hope that you will share this video with as many people as you can. And you will recommend this book to many more Shole lovers, many more uh, book lovers. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for being with me on this journey of a thousand videos. 
and I hope to continue to post valuable videos even as we go along. Till we meet again, do take good care of yourself. God bless you and thank you very much.